Hey, what's up, guys? Nico here of Yugatech, and this is the new 2022 Oppo Pad Air, powered by a Snapdragon 680 chipset, and it only retails for 13,999 pesos. Can it undercut the competition? Well, let's find out. This tablet comes with a big box, but inside we got the unit itself, some documents, a USB-C cable, and the charger. Now the tablet itself feels nice to hold with a metal finish at the rear. A portion of the back that covers the camera even has this nice flowing 3D texture. I like how Oppo decided to give it rounded edges instead of their usual curved design, making it easier to hold too. It's also relatively thin and light, making it easy to carry around. I also like how the rear is smudge resistant, meaning no nasty fingerprints. Flip it over and you have a large 10.36 inch screen with nice thin bezels. Interestingly, the front camera is located on the longer edge of the screen, so you might have to hold it in landscape mode to take selfie photos. Hold it in portrait mode, and up top, you'll find the power unlock button just above the rear camera. And it's joined by two speakers. On the right side, you'll find the volume buttons and the micro SD card slot, while below are two more speakers. No buttons on the left side of the tablet, giving it a clean finish. And yes, there are a total of four speakers in the Oppo Pad Air, which we'll get into detail later. The 10.36-inch screen features a 1200 by 2000 pixel display with a 60Hz refresh rate. Thanks to the LCD IPS panel, the colors are rich and vivid out of the box. Despite only having a 60Hz refresh rate, the screen doesn't lag or slow down when swiping through various menus and even the home screen. This makes it great for those working on the go and typing on the screen. Speaking of work, the Oppo Pad Air comes with several useful functions. One of those functions is split screen. As the name implies, you can split the screen into two, making it easier to multitask. This allows you to open two apps simultaneously for more efficient work, such as transcribing or more. There's also dual windows, which allows you to run two instances of an app at the same time. It didn't seem to work with Google Chrome, as we couldn't run the browser twice. However, it did work with WPS Office, with one part of the screen allows us to type, while the other shows the menu. If you're not planning to use the Oppo AirPad for work, it's great for watching videos and movies too. Aside from the nice 2K display, the tablet takes the listening experience to the next level, the Dolby Atmos quad speaker system. It's perfect if you don't have speakers to connect, but want to watch a movie or YouTube videos with friends and family. The sound doesn't peak even if you max out the volume, allowing everyone to hear the video clearly. Want to take some photos? The rear camera captures at 8 megapixels, while the front takes 5 megapixels. It's not the best, but it's enough for taking a quick snapshot or group photos. The same can be said about video, recording at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Interestingly, it does have image stabilization. As mentioned earlier, the Oppo AirPad is powered by a Snapdragon 680 chipset, paired with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. This means no lags, whether it's watching videos, playing games, or working on the go. The RAM is expandable up to 3GB. It runs on ColorOS 12.1, which is based on Android 12. You don't have to worry about battery life either, as the tablet has a 7100 mAh battery with 18 watts fast charging. If you're going to be watching movies throughout the day, we still recommend bringing a power bank, just in case. The 2022 Oppo Pad Air retails for 13,999 pesos making it one of the most affordable tablets on the market. It's even more affordable than some mid-tier smartphones out there. But after everything we've said in the video, would you consider buying it? Or would you save up a bit more and choose another model? Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Once again, this has been Nico, and I will see you soon.